Okay, I'm hoping we're gonna get a lot going on in this episode. I am thinking aging up of the twins, and also I'm kind of thinking level 10 completion of Clementine's career, and therefore the orange part of the Not So Berry Challenge. So, hello my little peaches, welcome back to another video. We are literally two days away from these twins aging up. It is a Monday right now, so on Thursday, I think, no, Wednesday, Maths. Wednesday, it is gonna be their birthday, so hopefully we are gonna get young adult versions of the twins in that episode. That feels like it's gone so fast, literally so fast. Also, Clem has completed her previous aspiration of like amazing criminal, and now has the beach life aspiration because she really wants to move to Solani. However, we can't do that while we're still trying to, you know, get to the very top of a crime empire, which is city-based. So she's currently the brains of the operation. She is on level nine of her career. We do have work today, so I'm really, hoping that we're gonna be able to get that promotion in today's episode. Cats are somehow bringing in birds. Don't really know how they're doing that because they are locked inside a flat but they're doing it all the same. And Blossom has work in now. <laughs> I do this with her every single time. She's feeling good because she successfully fixed an apartment problem. I do not know when she did that but fair play to you. Well done. She's a neat sim so I think maybe the fact that stuff keeps going wrong in the apartment just stresses her out and she's sick of waiting for her parents to deal with it so she's like you know what I'll deal with it myself. I will fix the problems, okay? The other thing both of these guys did in the last episode, I think, or they've more or less- Oh, you weren't at work for very long at all, were you? Good job. I'm just gonna double check because I think we're pretty close to finishing our novels that they were writing. Let's have a look. Oh no, we're still on Coffee Shop Princess. Fair enough. Before you go to school though, you can get breakfast at school. I am gonna suggest that we keep looking at the pen pals because one thing you guys have told me is that when I move, it may mess up our little pen pal board. So I'm gonna get Coral to do the same as well. But basically I need to complete that before we even consider getting these guys to move anywhere. So let's keep Keep searching for pen pals, keep requesting those postcards and try and get this as complete as possible. I'll know when it's complete because I'll get like a little pop-up that's like, you complete the pen pal aspiration, woo! And then I will get a plaque. However, the one thing I don't know is whether it classes it if you've both done it together. I'm kind of feeling it's per household though, so fingers crossed they can work on this together. And uh, let's see if you got a reply from any pen pals overnight. We need a new place, Coral. If you can get us a new location, that would be absolutely amazing. What are you saying? What are you saying? Any Oh, Champs, Les Sims. Yeah, we've definitely already got one from there. That was the worst French accent ever. I apologize to France because I feel like I've butchered that accent a few times now. So in the last episode as well, Keenan was like, nah, you know what? Crime's not for me. I am basically a golden retriever. And golden retrievers are not known for being great at crime. So instead, he was like, I am gonna become a pro gamer instead because that is an epic gamer moment for me. So we will get him to keep working <laughs> on entering his conversation. He has actually earned a little bit of money through gaming. I may give him a new aspiration as well because he can't be disliked by five sims, four sims. There's not four sims in the world that would dislike this lovable Egypt. So I'm thinking instead... See, I don't even think Computer Wiz quite fits it either. I may give him the beach life one as well because both of them wanted to do that when they were younger. Maybe we'll get the chance to do it. Maybe even in today's episode. However, we got bills to pay so let's go ahead and get those out the way. Pay the bills, get the mail because there may be some postcards. You've woken up stressed because you're craving junk food. Fair enough. I guess we'll get you some junk food then. <gasps> of postcards. It looks like you've got a postcard from every corner of the world. How do I get my plaque? It said I completed it, but I don't know how to get the plaque. <gasps> As if we've done it that soon. Can I like buy the plaque now? Oh my gosh, the kids are gonna be so hyped when they come home from school. I'm gonna get Clem to like do it as a little bit of a, you know, she's not terrible, you know, please. Stop with the Clem slander. She's not terrible. And I think it would be a nice thing that she could do for them is like get this little plaque for them to put their postcards on. Although I don't know how to get it. How do I get the plaque? How do I get that? What's it called? Oh wait, maybe it's in here. No. Although we do have a spy satellite now. Oh my gosh, yes, this is the best thing ever. Let's pop that in their room full of oddities. And a stolen necklace of the late Duchess Pinky. Oh my gosh, that will look great in my hallway. No, it won't because there's no room. Wait, what about if I put these here? I really need a stolen necklace in my hallway. That's just amazing. Guests will love it. And where do I keep getting these plates from? Literally, I have so many plates. I also have a, a whole cheesecake. What? Let's get that out. Yeah, I can't find this plaque. The one night 
nice thing I wanted to do for the kids. The pen pal plaque and I don't have it. So I can't do it. Oh, Clem, you tried, babe. She tried. The game let you down. It wasn't you. Or does this when I put them all... Oh, hi, Cammy. Do you want to call and have a chat? Of course. If I put the final ones on here, will it work in that way instead? Will it like turn into the plaque maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all of them. This is all the postcards, right? I mean, I got the award. This is your lot. This is the whole shebang. We've got every single one on there, I think think because we've got little haven lucky palms riverview midnight hollow twinbrook moonlight falls charlison's sunset valley barnacle bay luna lakes isla paradiso which is that i that looks kind of i know it's not solani but it has such solani vibes i think that one was i can't remember who got that one then we've also got bridgeport and we've got abaloosa plains Okay, disturbing. No, I'm married. I'm married. But I don't know how to get the plaque, which kind of sucks. I don't know if they've maybe given it to like one of the twins instead and I just can't see the inventories for now. But we did it. I know there's technically more than this, but I don't think the like um, completion of the milestone is based on like the other packs. I think it's just like the main pack. So they're done. One part of the pink gen ticked off. Done. Very happy with that. Okay, let's get you in a gaming tournament, a professional gaming tournament. I feel like Sports or the refuge? Oh, <gasps> maniac matchums. Okay, you're new. Do that one. Oh, oh no, Clem. Clem's jumping in there instead. Clem, no, let's get you a little bubbly bath. And then I'm actually going to send you to work to try and boost your performance before we go in, which means you can join your gaming tournament. How are you doing a gaming tournament in a leather jacket and hoodie? I will never know. But oh, you match them. Oh. This is mobile gaming, but good luck. Well done. This one feels a bit too high tech for you, my love, but okay. Can I come over? I miss you. I don't even know who you are, so no. And then when you're out of the bath, let's do... Go to work on off hours. Perfect. And obviously the paranoia is starting to mount up because we've got a little satellite here. Making sure it's listening to the police, it's listening to rival gangs. It's listening even for people in our own gang that could be about to betray us. The city is not safe when you're a level nine of the criminal career, you know? Games within games. Have us and reach the max level of the video game career yes keen on fires we found something that you're good at you've attained legendary status among the sim gaming community all of the forums mention his name in hushed reverent tones they're like keen on fires Literally, well done. This feels more his vibe, so I'm really happy about that. And you've got actual work in four hours time, so hopefully going in and getting a few bits done before you actually go on the streets with the gang is gonna help Clem at her job too. And since I've got to upgrade uh, stuff for my job as well, I'm gonna get her to come home and reinforce the fridge door so that only she can get to the treats at the back of the fridge because she is a junk food addict. And I don't feel like she's great at sharing. Keenan won the tournament, what? Oh my gosh. Wait, 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 I wanna hear more about Keenan's tournament. Great, the kids are smart. Great, well done. But I want to hear about Keenan's tournament. How much money did we make from that? Yes, Keenan, you absolute legend. Oh, bless him. He's now got the techie lifestyle as well. Oh, fair play to you. Yeah, he's a techie. Ah, clever geeky egg. I'm glad he's found like a thing he's really good at. I can't wait to move him to Solani where <laughs> it's not going to feel easy gaming in 30 degree high humidity, but good luck to you, Keenan. Oh, and you're enraged. Oh, no. Okay, this is not good. This is not good at all. Oh, straight on the gaming mat though because we're all obsessed with that. Coral is having a mood swing. He's angry at the world. He wants to be mean to someone and he's angry. He's going through it at the moment. He was feeling a bit angry and stressed last episode as well uh, about Blossom dating. Oh, but we're having mood swings over here as well. The walk the teens do is ridiculous. She is having a stop looking at me mood swing. Sometimes it feels like you just can't do anything right and everyone is judging you. Oh no. What's that about? Last episode we were like so happy because we'd like gone on a date with Jacob and things were going so well. But now she's feeling like everyone is judging her. Is it because she's got quite a few people that she's got romance with and we were dating Annabelle last time and now we're dating Jacob today? In an ideal world, people shouldn't care and it's not their business. But in an unideal world, maybe people are being a bit nasty to her about it at school. And it's kind of putting her off getting back in touch with Jacob. I don't know, maybe. Blossom is trying to make herself feel better by chatting with Keenan because Keenan's bound to put a smile on anyone's face. Whereas uh, Coral is is in here actually having himself a pep talk in front of the mirror because I feel like when Blossom's got problems, she turns to her parents, even though it might not always be the smartest idea. Whereas Coral fixes his own problems. He doesn't trust them or rely on them. So instead he's trying to get that like guidance from himself. Even though his mom is like, can you get out of the toilet please? Because I need to pee. He didn't even get to finish talking himself down. He doesn't want to be angry, but his mom's like, yeah, I've got work soon. I need to pee, so you need to pee. And now he's having a little cry about it instead. And a stomp in a feet. Are you having 
having like a full meltdown right now. I kind of feel like you are. Oh, and what's going? Oh. Oh. <gasps> I think Keenan just tried to be like, hey, high five, son. And he was like, no, and like bent his arm back. What? And he wanted to be mean to somebody. It feels like he's taking it out on Keenan because Keenan came to try and help. But he's like, dad, that's not the help I need right now. Oh, no. Honestly, when the teens go through tough times, it's tough because they are really mean. But you've got to remember the teenagers. It's not who they're going to end up. He's not a nasty person. He's just going through a tough time. <gasps> and be calmed down by Clem. Oh, that did not work. I feel like Clem is like, you can't talk to your dad like that. So she's going to try and speak to him. And instead, he's just blown up at her as well. I probably feel like he's like, you can't pick and choose when you want to be a parent, mom. Like, you can't try and calm me down she's trying though she's trying very hard with them i just don't think he sees her as a very parental figure so it's not gonna work when she tries to act like a parent to him he's just not impressed at all he's just oh my gosh which cat is doing that shush yeah he's like not really letting her calm him down or getting a word in he's just oh that face he is so mad so mad yeah this not happening not helping. It's literally an offensive conversation right now. I mean, it kind of feels just like you can't just suddenly, you don't speak to your father like that after barely being much of a parent the whole time. <laughs> But she is heading into work now. I'm really hoping that we get this up to level 10. She's actually a bit late for work because she wanted to chit chat with Coral. But okay, let's work hard. Again, I'm going to micromanage this because working hard isn't pushing your job up. So why don't we switch to the intimidating lackeys? There we go. See, when she uses her fists, that's when she gets the promotions. And why don't, to try and calm ourselves down, I'm going to try and find someone online to chat with because he's really going through it. And I don't think he wants to speak to family. Even Blossom, usually when he's in a bad mood, he just tries to avoid talking to Blossom because he doesn't want to get angry at her. But then the other thing I'm going to do is get him. Oh, he did finish his book. Oh, is this your book? Look at his children. Oh, quality is a bestseller. And he wrote it as a screenplay. Oh my gosh, look at it. It looks like so awesome. Okay. Oh, by the way, when Clem's stressed, she listens to alternative music because she has that as one of her likes to help calm her down. Great tunes. She really likes alternative. She's something she did on her own, which I thought was kind of cute. Anyway, what I'm thinking... Oh my god. Go. Neighbors, am I right? Let's try and fix this jam. And then, why don't you try and make yourself feel better? Why don't you can submit it to the Literary Digest? Grants a large amount of royalties which are received daily. It can only be performed once a week. But he has this option because his writing skill is so good. So why don't, instead of self-publishing it or selling it, why don't we go the very hybrid route of submitting it to the Literary Digest and see where we get. The most recent book that Coral wrote has been nominated for an award straight away! <laughs> Check out the next awards ceremony. It's Sunday at 7 p.m. to see if he won. How do- Oh, he's got some followers through that. Oh, wow. His book has taken people by a storm. He's almost got 400 followers. Oh my gosh. How do I see this award ceremony? Is this like literally the Starlight Accolades? Talent Showcase. Can you get nominated for books at this as well? I'm going to cancel this because we might be going... We might be going to this. Oh my gosh. If he literally gets an award for the first ever screenplay he's ever submitted. That is literal literature genius. That is like another level of genius. Wow. I'm hyped for him. I really hope he gets it. What a smart little cookie. And that's put him in a good mood. See, it's not like people trying to talk him down. It's not like other people getting involved for him the thing that actually helps him out of his bad moods is like his own positive actions so i'm so happy for him my baby wrote a masterpiece that's smart googie blossom however definitely still feeling a little bit Ugh. oh geez yeah definitely feeling very blur has she switched the music on again listen to loud music oh, okay she's definitely going through some teenage hormones right now People at school have been mean. They're making mean rumors about her. Jacob's not text her. She doesn't want to text him because of the mean rumors. She is just going through a tough time. She's like naturally like a very, she craves romance. And I think naturally she's very flirty, but it doesn't seem to be working out very well for her, which sucks. It absolutely sucks. I don't want her to like give up on love, but it's kind of feeling like, you know, she's young. And when you're young, you think if like your relationship doesn't go well, that like that's it, all chance of love is over. It's really hard to explain to a young person that you've got your whole life to like fall in love and find out this stuff. But listening to music seems to have really put her in a good mood which i really like i like that she's so into music maybe for her birthday we can get her like a guitar or something a lot of people in this family line have played guitars and she likes alternative music so i think that could be a whole vibe and geez you guys are disciplined in bed before 10 whoa you make it very easy for keenan because he's been playing video games all night long and you guys take yourselves to bed which 
makes my job very easy. I've switched Clem over to working hard. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get a promotion today, but our next day is on Thursday, so maybe then. She's got until 1 a.m., so we never know. I might get an opportunity. What I need is a work opportunity to pop up and to collect the select the right answer. And look at you, you little tortured soul. Loving your video games, but also feeling tense from being cooped up. You want both. You want like the ultimate gaming layer, but you also want to take walks in the sunshine. Very relatable, Keenan, because I actually feel the same as that. I don't think you're one or the other. I don't think you're either. Like some people are, but for me, I like having, I love video games. I'm quite happy to explore the worlds of Skyrim, but I would also like to explore the real wilds too. So, you know, I need both. And so does my man Keenan. <gasps> and it's almost Coral's birthday, which means it's almost Blossom's birthday as well. Keenan has literally at this point, yeah, there we go, been playing games for about seven hours. <laughs> I don't think he had dinner. He's not even stopped to pee. You are addicted. You are fully, fully addicted. Coral's woken up in the night because we were having the mood swing earlier on. That's Blossom's book, by the way. We didn't get a chance to do homework, so I'm thinking maybe we do homework in the night and then get a bath and go back to bed because I feel like that will tire our brain out and help us go back to sleep. Maybe whilst we're here, we can try make up with dad a little bit. Throw him a bone, ask him for help with his homework. You know, if you want to... Oh, no, instead. Be dead to streak. No, if I'm doing my homework, Dad. What is wrong with you? And we got back from work. We did a good day. What a day. We didn't get a promotion. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I think he is trying to help him with his home. No, he's dance. He's doing the wee dance. Yeah, he's doing the wee dance. Okay, so we're gonna miss. We're gonna miss. And yeah, no promotion, but we are almost on excellent. So I think on Thursday, that will be our big promotion. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at her outfit. She's gone to go and help him with his homework instead. She's probably like, are you winning, son? And he's like, mom, it's it's homework. It's, it's not a video game. It's not kill another mob situation. It's literally just homework. I'm glad you're winning, son. <laughs> Oh, but she did get a big break at work. Okay, that is awesome. That is really awesome. My sleeping schedules are messed up. I've got to wake Blossom up now to get ready for her work and do her homework before she goes to work. Oh my gosh, the cats are fighting. Is this bad fight or play fight? Cats. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, oh my gosh, Blossom's cat won. Oh no. Oh no, Bubblegum's running away. Wait, Bubblegum's running away? Oh, yeah, Bubblegum's. Oh my gosh, Bubblegum is Coral's cat. Oh my gosh, Blossom loves old music, by the way. Coral's cat's running away because they're, they're going to fight. Oh no, their owners might be going through a tough time, but keeping their emotions separate so that they don't fight. But instead, they've channeled it into the cats like they're Pokemon. And then the cats have had a fight and Bubblegum's run away. Oh no. Oh, yep, and now Coral's really sad. Missing my furry friend. Oh, Artie, why did you fight with Bubblegum? Oh, jeez. Blossom's up. We're meant to be getting ready for work, but I might have to get her to post because her cat caused it. So I'm going to get her to post the alert about missing Bubblegum. And then after you post the alert, you can go to your little coffee shop job, of which you've never been on time for a long time. And Artie is now sick. So both of them came out of that exchange worse for wear. How did you get downstairs, Artie? Oh, no. Artie, I think, also looking for bubblegum. Kind of feeling bad, maybe. They've always got on before. They, like, cleaned each other and everything. Okay, alerts posted. Off to be coffee shop princess. And if I'm aging up the kids tomorrow, then this is the final day for them to work hard at school. So let's listen to teacher. Get our few final skills before we age up into young adults. Coral is an extremely important test coming up, but school's been so busy. Should he drink loads of cola and cram wrap the test, or should he find a light activity to give his brain a rest? He's sick of his, like, all the, like, nonsense they eat in the household, all of the fast food. So I don't think he'd want cola and cram. I think he'd do light activity. But we've got his first royalty report back 641 pounds what that is so much money and although he's not as wide and amped up he feels good about his decision to give his brain a rest and takes a test feeling refreshed he can easily recall all the required information yes coral you small little googie and oh my gosh look at this clem has woken up feeling sad about having a dream about losing everything to bankruptcy <gasps> I think like she's getting very paranoid and worried because of her job about this whole gang thing blowing up in her face. It's getting more and more dangerous where they live. They could lose all their money. They could lose like something could happen to their family. She's definitely like, we need to leave the city soon. <gasps> the plaque came. Oh, we can surprise them with a nice little plaque when they get home from school. Oh, it's quite small. There we go. So that's going to be nice for them. They actually earned their plaque. Good job, gang. There's so much stuff in this house. I need to remember to move to household inventory if we do move. Okay, despite the fact she hates handiness, I've got it upgrading for her job. So, 
I am trying real hard. And because it's Geek Con, I am gonna send Keen on Fires down to go and do the ultimate gaming test. Now, you sucked at this last time, but it's literally your job now and you've been practicing a bunch. And look, you're even, your hygiene, you're not doing much for the game and stereotype, are you, Keenan? But we're gonna send you down to the contest. Oh my gosh, you didn't even get changed. No, you did get changed. Okay, there we go. And let's see if you can do better now. When you first tried this, I don't think you even placed. Oh, you failed. You got like three out of 10 or something. Let's see how you do this time. You're better now. Look at you. Look how agile and gamer and sweaty you are. Very sweaty, both in real life and also at gaming. Okay, we got a score of seven. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. You got 100 pounds and a future cube. So you got a special gaming console, but not 10 out of 10, Keenan, is it? It's literally your job now. <gasps> Bubblegum has returned. Bubblegum, yes. <gasps> with gifts! Oh my gosh. I'm gonna pick them up so I can bring them back home. Oh, and by the way, look at this. If I go on Coral, who's very, he's so tense. He also has festering bitterness. I had a feeling who it might be, and yeah, he's got a festering grudge against his mother. It's hard to forgive or forget the past, which may make being around Clem feel very unpleasant for Coral. So, yeah, he's not one who forgives and forgets very easily, and he feels very... He's holding a grudge about the way he was raised. The only person he, like, actually in the household right now wants to spend any time around is Blossom, really. At least they've got each other, cutie pies. So I'm gonna try and see if Blossom can also finish her book before she grows up, because I think that would be really cool. Ooh, and Blossom just got a text from a friend from school, Channing, saying that he's not really into her. However, with all of the nastiness that's and the rumors and stuff anyway. What I don't think. I think she's just like, no, I'm done with, I'm done with love. I'm done with this for now. I don't want anything to do with this. I'm sick of people like making up stories. So she's just gonna say no. But also you guys did say, because Channing's last name is Fires, they may be related. So we're gonna ghost him. And I'm just gonna double check the tree and see if I can get to Channing. Cause it's Fires. Okay, nothing on this side. How about on this side? Oh, yep, there he is. So he is our dad's half-brother? Yeah, he's our dad's half-brother. Yeah, I'm glad we just went, stuck well away from that. He's our dad's half-brother. Because they had kids young, the like generations are a bit messed up. If Keenan knew him, then it would be his half-brother. I think. Let me check on Keenan's tree. It's all getting very messy. It's Keenan's cousin. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Because they share a grandparent. Yeah, they're cousins. It's my dad's cousin. Ain't touching that with a barge pole. But also, for now, we're not touching love with the barge pole in general. We're vibing out to our music that we're really enjoying. We're being a bit more social. We're not writing in our room. We're writing in the main room so we can be around everyone. We're really enjoying the music at the moment and we're just enjoying not chasing. Oh, their body is smelling in the hallway. But other than that, we're enjoying not chasing people and feeding into the rumors. We're just staying well away from that for now. And she's done it. What an achievement. Blossom finished writing an entire book. <gasps> she can publish it in the mailbox. <gasps> she can also submit hers to the literature oh my gosh they're gonna go head to head maybe this will decide the air no i don't think so but i'm gonna get her to do the same thing and submit coffee shop princess so it's like a really gritty screenplay about a difficult childhood for two twins versus a romantic coffee shop encounter as a novel for blossom i wonder which one they're gonna like the most they've both been nominated for an award it just shows you just because it's a romance book about a coffee shop does not mean it's lowbrow it's a really really well written one. She's a great writer as well. And she got some followers from it too, but not as many as Keenan. Keenan went for the really hard right, and like, as a result, pe people really like him because he went for that very, like, he's probably in the New York Post or what, a New York Times, and like, he's got those kind of articles, whereas I personally would prefer to read Blossom's book, but... Yeah. And text emergency. I texted somebody, but they didn't text me back. And it's been like an hour. Should I text them again? Oh, I think this might be about Jacob. I think he's kind of ghosting her. Like she ghosted Channing. But she's asking Clem about this. I feel like Clem will be like, no. If they don't chase, if they don't text you back, wait for people to come to you. In my life, I found that people have always come to me. I've never had to do any chase. And so I just say ignore them. <sighs> Cheers, Clem. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, the Paregents were basically orbiting around Clem. So it doesn't surprise me that that's like her mindset for life. Every time it's a festival, people just come to my apartment. It's so annoying. I actually can't wait to leave the city. I'm with Clem. So because we're doing the kids' birthdays today, I am gonna take a vacation day from school for both of them. <gasps> 
And Blossom's been promoted to a bean blender. Oh, it's a cute head. Well done, well done. And then when Clem works up, we are gonna go ahead. I think she can cook really cool cakes now. Yeah, okay, it's a bit much, but it's also pink, which is kind of perfect. So maybe we have this tiered pink cake for their birthday. She's woken up so hard because she's like, yes, I get to cook with sugar. We've also woken up feeling inspired, or well, Blossom has, and I need her to write for an hour whilst inspired. So I feel like we make this a bit of a series. I am going to write another book. Let's write another, I guess, what would it be? Coffee Shop Princess. I wanna write the next one. Maybe we'll do it as like a little bit of a romantic mystery. Oh, and now you're not inspired anymore. Are you kidding me? And since we're basing it around coffee, <laughs> this one is gonna be called, where have you been? Like a coffee bean. Thank you. That was beautiful. Well done. I need you to be inspired though. Oh, there you go. Inspired again. Okay, brilliant. I could kind of do with you being inspired as well. Is this an inspirational work? Let me get him to view this and see if it makes him feel inspired. Look, these are inspiring as well. Yeah, yeah. Let's- Oh! I can make it so that they're always inspired in here. Perfect. Since your first screenplay was such a success, why don't you go ahead and write- I mean, this screenplay is kind of about you guys. So is it a bit young to write a biography? No, it's kind of a bit young, isn't it? I think I know the screenplay. You seem to be really good at them. <gasps> we finally got a text back from Jacob. Oh, what do I do? 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 We've just started on a book, but she's been waiting to hear back from him too. I think we say okay. <gasps> no way. No way. He lives in Solani? What? I mean, we kind of <laughs> thought with the surname, but oh my gosh, what? You live in this awesome house in Solani? Like, what? What, 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 what? Have, okay, instantly super attracted as well. Did we just accidentally hit the jackpot with our boyfriend? I thought if we make them move, it's gonna be really sad for her because like she'll be like moving away from her partner. But instead, we're literally gonna be in the same place as him. And like, look, he's got like all of these little little bros and a sister, I think, as well. And these wild burbs and butterflies. And oh my gosh, you live in actual heaven. And you're really sweet with your siblings. Okay. Maybe this whole romance has not died out yet because this is really nice. I don't know what his family sitch is. They've all got the same surname. I can't see any groans, but they probably are at work. We've got... Oh no, here! Briella Kalini is an elder. So this is this is his mom, maybe? I don't know. But he's got two really young siblings and an elder parent, which makes me think he's probably gonna have to like look after these kids. Oh no, it's Helen, sorry, his sister. And Audra. Wait, maybe two sisters. Yeah, he's got two sisters to look after. Okay, wow. So yeah, they're only teenagers. I think he's like a similar age to us if I check on MCC. Yeah, Briella is his mom. Oh yeah, he's 13 out of 13. He's gonna age up today as well, but he's probably gonna end up being Kara for these kids too. Hmm, interesting. I like that. He's got a bit of a backstory. And he lives in the same place as we were considering moving to. I would probably have kicked them out of this house. So it's Probably a good job we visited this today. And a roll reports are in. Oh, wow. The cursed children is earning us $854 a day. That is a super, like, that book's amazing, apparently. The Coffee Shop Princess, not quite the same, like, royalties, but it is doing well as well. Oh, she told him you have my heart. That's very cute. I'm kind of glad these two have, like, worked out. She's probably going to be a little bit more cautious with her heart because we did get aired for a few days. But I'm glad that he has, like, come around and isn't airing her anymore. I also think it's really sweet that he's like close to his sisters. I think that's cute. Okay, but we are meant to be doing birthday celebrations. I mean, Jacob can always come back with you, but I think we should uh, end this hanging out with lover event. And then let's go ahead and travel back. And oh my gosh, Jacob just kissed Blossom right in front of Keenan. <laughs> Oh my gosh, she did like the little sloppy thing of her, like a joke slap, but he was still like, oh, don't get shit my in front of me. Hate that, hate that. And I'm aware the cat's blue. I will go and get vet treats at some point, but I hate the pet's illnesses. It drives me mad. And oh, I baked two cakes. I, I did not realize we already had one. It's fine. We actually have a cake each, which is far too much cake for one household, but it's fine. Oh my gosh, Jacob just took a slice. Okay, guess we're not using that cake then. Uh, let's try this one instead. Guess it's back to sharing a cake. <gasps> and... 
Oh, Blossom just took a slice of that one. Are you kidding me, Blossom? Are you kidding me right now? I have to bake th another cake? Three cakes? Clem is like, oh no. Oh no, I have to bake another cake? We're gonna have three cakes in the fridge? This is terrible. How will I ever get over this? And Jacob's try still trying to do a good impression. Cleaning the counters for us. Probably is like, how can you eat off this? How can you guys live like this? I've noticed that Coral's not come out to say hi to him. I think Coral's like, yeah, you ghost my sister once and I'm not really interested in you ever again. You believe the rumors instead of being nice to my sister. So he's not really in team Jacob just yet. He's team Edward apparently. But we've got a blue car and we've got a cake ready for the kids to age up. So Coral is the eldest. So we will age him up first. And as soon as it's Coral's birthday, Jacob also piecing out. I guess his other plans are aging up, which he has to do at his home lot, I guess. So goodbye, Jacob. And Coral, let's go first. Let's go ahead and blow out the candles and age you up. You can also get that makeover that Blossom has been promising you for a while as well. So there we go. Blowing out the candles, aging up into a young adult. Their teenhood feels like it's gone so fast. But then they have done so much. Like, we've done an award-winning screenplay during that time, which is very impressive. I have got to give you, as part of the pink not-so-berry generation, the neat trait. So there we go. Coral has got the neat trait. And next up is Blossom. Blossom ready to blow out her candles as well. And join Coral on the road to being a young adult. Oh, we're getting in just the right position. There we go. Blossom ready to be a young adult as well. Now, I feel like I was gonna give her the flirty trait, which would mean that she wasn't able to be air. But I still don't feel like there's a very clear air. And I really like playing both of them and then just seeing where the game takes me. I think that's a lot of fun. So instead, I'm actually, I feel like with everything that went on with her feeling so embarrassed at school and people being cruel at school, I'm gonna give her the unflirty trait. As in, she still is romantic at heart, but she does get tense around flirty situations and being romantic in public just because she got the hard time at school. So the game kind of fed that to me, which I am just gonna take. I am gonna embrace that. Let's go ahead and get them into cast and choose their young adult looks. So let's do Coral first, cause he is older. And I've downloaded some new hairs and I've did a recolor as well of a hair. I can't remember which hair I recolored, but I did do another recolor cause I wanted to switch up his look a little bit. So let's see what we can do. So one of the hairs I recolored was this hair. I've done two variants. This is more the color cause I picture his hair being a little bit darker. It's it's got really nice curls at the top and shaved sides. So that's one option. The other hair that I thought I only had, oh wow, there's this one too. Wow, that looks great on him as well. That's probably the closer to his young hair. Oh, this is hard because both look really nice. That or that. I feel like this is more like his like dirty pink color. This is a bit more red, but it kind of works. That's an option as well. That also has a curl to it. These hairs look great. That one's got so much volume, what? And then I didn't think I had his child hairs for adults, but it's because for whatever reason, that thumb doesn't make me think of his child hair. So what I could do is give him his child hair back as well. So there's that option as well. All of them look really nice on him. I'm kind of digging that one, but this one's just, there's so much hair that I'm kind of digging that one as well. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know which one to go for. <laughs> can you tell? These two are my recolors. I think I recolored, if it's got a blonde, I recolored that one. So you can see, yeah. I like that on him a lot. I'm gonna just pop a little bit because one thing I like to do to change adults from young adults with the guys is pop a little bit of facial hair. Uh, it makes them look a little bit more grown. I didn't do the little tash with him, just because not all, uh, some boys when they start to grow their hair, they keep shaving it off. I know my brother did because like he didn't like the look of like the little floofy tush. He is so keen on. Whoa. Maybe a little bit of like Clem nose maybe, but he's very keen on. He's very keen on. And the other thing I was thinking is since he's like got this screenplay and that kind of thing, maybe, oh, his eyelashes are on that layer though. I was gonna add some glasses and make him look like a little bit hipster, a little bit like distinguished, you know, because he's like the screenplay writer i sort of feel like he would definitely become quite hipster so i did think that that could be very fun to work with as well i might try this on him for now switch up his earrings for something with a bit more gold to match his glasses maybe yeah a little michi machi moo i've got these eyelashes i can pop on on this layer instead perfect and then for his clovies i've kind of got a loose idea in my head i want him to look like you look at him and you're like yeah, he writes screenplays. Like, I want him to dress because he wants to be taken seriously as a screenplay writer. Plus, I've never had a screenplay writer sim before, so this is kind of fun. So he is kind of, like, quite 
serious looking. But I feel like, you know, when you're young and it's hard for people to take you seriously. So he's kind of going like overly formal. And then when he's a bit more established in his field, that's when he can like relax his style a little bit. But also I feel like he's the complete opposite of his parents. Like he's got his shirt on and his jumper on. He looks very like clean cut. He's very different to them, which I think is what he always felt like to me anyway. And then with Blossom, I kind of love that when she went to Solani and she was like, oh, I really like it here. But two, I kind of like that she's got really into music and particularly like alternative music like guitar music I kind of get like a bit of a boho vibe from her so I'm gonna go for like slightly older looking makeup on her now just to try and like differentiate her from her young adult form a little bit from her teenage form even maybe something like that I was to brighten up her lips a tiny bit maybe like that but yeah I've just given her hair like a loose knot at the back there I think she definitely looks older which is exactly what I wanted and then clothing wise I want her to have like just like a relaxed sort of, I don't know, like silky, swishy, boho-y kind of, I don't know. <laughs> Although that does look really cute on her. It's more princessy. It's more coffee shop princess <laughs> than I intended, but I can't deny that looks very cute on her. Yeah, I feel like she's gonna have like the Solani bug now and she, if like Clem's like, okay, we've kind of got to leave the country because of my job. She'll be like, yay. Whereas Coral will be like, no, I'm literally just starting to make a name for myself here with my writing. But like, if Blossom's going, he's going, you know? I mean, they're young adults, technically they don't have to go, but I sort of feel like they will for now at least. Oh, that's cute too. Everything's cute. I don't know what to put on her. There was something about the first one that I just, I don't know, I just vibed with her and it looks more grown up, which is kind of what I'm going for. So I don't know, I'm kind of digging something like that. I think that looks really cute. <gasps> that really brings out her eyes as well. Ah, I love them both. So we've got a slightly older, a slightly burned Blossom. She went through life with like a very innocent, sweet sort of approach to life, but then school drama did end up catching up with her in the end and we did get a little bit burned. So she's a little bit more cautious going into adulthood now. I would say that Coral is definitely not a big fan of her romantic interest, but there they are, both a little bit older and a little bit wiser. And I am literally about to melt. My camera's already switched off once. It's a heat wave in the UK while I'm recording this. So I am gonna leave things there, but we're gonna move to Solani next episode, fingers crossed, because that is when Clem will get her promotion. She'll reach level 10. She no longer needs to be in San Mashuno to run her criminal empire. She can do it from afar. She's got people under her who can run it. And also it's not safe to be in the city anymore. So that is what we're going to be doing next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it some love below. Any likes or any comments or anything really, really help out my video and the channel. And I really appreciate them. So thank you guys so, so much. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.